Greetings from UID. This video will give you a virtual guide about how to attempt the UID DAT in online mode. UID DAT online exam is smartly protected by AI enabled electronic proctoring mechanism. Please ensure you seated alone in a well illuminated area in a room for taking this examination. Also ensure all these basic requisites as per the checklist provided on your UID DAT admit card. The URL for the examination is uiddat.com. Kindly open the link in new incognito window of your browser. You'll be taken to the home page where you'll have to enter your login credentials as provided in your admit card. Your user ID is your UID candidate ID and your password is your registered primary number without the country code. Click on the capture icon and verify that you are not a bot. And now click on the login icon you'll be directed to the test selection page. Click on continue to proceed further. Now you are on the environment check page. Click on proceed now and the system will verify four factors whether your web camera is working, your microphone is working, your browser is correct and the internet speed is stable. If you have not given your microphone and camera access then please enable the access by clicking on the lock icon and allowing the same from here. Now once all these actions are done, you just have to click on continue. You will now have to capture your photograph, then click on proceed now. You'll then be asked to capture the photograph of your ID card and then click on proceed now. You will be taken to the waiting lounge before the examination starts. Kindly go through security instructions on the left and the standard instructions including the stationary checklist required during the exam on the right. At the scheduled time of the examination, the proceed now icon will be activated. You will have to check this box and click on proceed icon. you'll now be directed on the test page. You can also minimize the camera icon here. Kindly check all four options here. The options are Auto Next, Change Section, View Instruction and Help Center. You can use this Auto Next option to move from one question to another. If you have selected this Auto Next option, Whenever you attempt a question, it will automatically take you to the next question. You can enable or disable this feature as per your convenience. You can use Change Section feature anytime to toggle between Part A and Part B of the test. At any point during the exam, you can read the instruction again from View Instructions icon. For basic queries during the exam, Use the Help Center icon. If you are unsure about the answer to any question, you can just select the answer you want to give and flag the question at the moment. And then you can come back to this question and you can do this question later on. You can also reattempt any question in part A by just clicking on the clear response icon and reselecting your answer. For part B, read the notes against each question carefully. For questions that require writing, you can use the text box to type your answer. 
and do basic formatting using the format features available here. For uploading your drawings, these are the different ways. Number 1. Uploading images using a mobile. Once you click on this option, a QR code will be generated. Apple mobile users have a feature inbuilt in the camera app. Other device users can use any scanner app, including barcode scanner, Google Lens, Paytm or GPay app, etc. On scanning the QR, your mobile phone's back camera will be activated. Click on the icon and capture the photo of the A4 sheet that you want to upload against that question. You can view your uploaded answer sheet from View Uploaded Images section. Number 2. Uploading images using a web camera. You can use your laptop web camera and hold the A4 sheet to click photo and upload against the respective question. Number 3. Uploading images from your laptop or computer directly. You can also transfer the file from your camera to your laptop or desktop using click to browse and upload feature to upload your answer sheets. If you're unsure about the uploaded files, you can review your uploaded files and delete wrongly uploaded files. You can also re-upload the file through any of the three methods. Once you have attempted all the questions, you can select the option of ending the test. Just click on Submit Test to confirm your selection. Please make sure you make the final submission only after completing the examination. You will be asked to confirm in case you accidentally tried submitting the examination before the completion of the duration or attempting all questions. Complete your test as there is no negative marking. After reviewing all the answers, you can now end the test. Please note that once you make the final submission, you will not be able to take up the examination again. If your test is submitted successfully, you will see this notification on the screen. For any technical support, you can contact us on plus 9193559 32123. For any other queries, contact UID Admissions Support Team on plus 919266 All the best for UID DAT 2023-2024.